Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thanks for joining me for today's video. Uh, today I wanted to share with you my design team projects for May 2021 for Buttons Galore and More. I created three cards for them for next month and I wanted to show you what I made. Uh, one of them I showed you guys already. I think the other ones I have not, but I will show you the products that I used and I'll put links to them down below to the Buttons Galore website. Of course, you could get their products at uh, different online and, um, you know, in-person craft stores as well. But, you know, I'll just, I'll link them to, I'll link you to the website so you can read the descriptions and stuff. So um, the first card I made is this one, which I think I had shown you guys before. Yes, I did, because I wanted to try out a new die set that I got. So I used a couple of Buttons Galore project or products in this. Um, in the tail, I used some really pretty sequins. As you can see, there's sequins of different shapes. There's like larger opaque ones, smaller clear ones, some iridescent ones. There's also some seed beads in there, which are always good to add to your shakers to help things move along. And all the shaker bits come from this cube. And this is by 28 Lilac Lane, which is a Buttons Galore company. Um, this one is called Springtime in Paris. And it comes with buttons, it comes with sequins, seed beads, all different sizes and shapes of everything. And the colors in this one are just so pretty. Just aquas and pinks and lilac, lilacs and clear. It's just beautiful. And there's a ton in here. I've used this several times already and I still, you know, I put a dent in it, but there's still a lot left. So um, yeah, this is a great mix to add. I picked the buttons out just because I didn't want um, buttons in my mermaid tail, but that's a good thing about these. You can pick and choose whatever you want. For the, um, the little water bubbles and the sprinkles on the side, oh, got a sequin stuck to me. I use some sparklets and sparklets are embellishments that have, um, these have like, uh, like gems in them and dew drops, little tiny sequins, bigger sequins and flat back gems. And that's usually like basically what sparklets come with. So, um, also good to add to shakers or to add individual individually as embellishments to your projects. And that's what I did. I went and picked out some of the dew drops and I really think that they look like water droplets. And I added some gems as well and they're translucent. So I think they look very watery as uh, too. So I for, for the die set, just in case you missed my last video about that, I used this one. This is by Sizzix and it's a newer one that I got at Hobby Lobby, but they have them at other places as well. And it cut cuts and embosses at the same time, which is really fun. So I just think the um, the sequins look really pretty in there. I love sequins for mermaid projects. Um, this one, I don't think I told you, this one is called Mermaid and it's SPK 104. SPK means sparklets. The papers, I just use some, some pearlized paper for the cover in my stash. I use some three millimeter foam to raise up the tail. And the background page is from a paper pad that Craftsmith sent me. This one is called Key West. And I use the stripe pad just placed on the diagonal just to give it a little more interest. So that's that card. Uh, the inside uh, looks like that. I used a mermaid paper that I had. Um, that one's from Michael's too, an older one. So that is my first project for, for Buttons Galore. Let's move on to the next one. Um, I use that Key West paper pad for this as well. And this one is super bold and bright, which is not my normal palette, but I love it for a tropical card and also for a summery card. And this one I think is really made fun with the little fish. And the fish come from this sprinklets pack, which is called Fish Tank. And this one just has fish. And sprinklets are usually just like the little clay bits and they come in different shapes and stuff. Um, so this one is all fish. It has green ones and pink ones and orange ones. And you can pick out whichever ones you want, glue them onto a project, add them to shaker mixes. But I just picked them out and just added a dab of glue on little spots on my card and just uh, put these on and they stuck on really well. Um, I thought they were really fun. 
So yeah, I used the Key West pad for that. And for the glitter, I used another pad I got from Michaels that's called Jewel, Jewel Glitter. Yeah, this was a hot buy uh, a few months ago, I think. So um, I took a nested die set that I had in my stash, a scallop square, and I cut it out of, you know, all the different layers. I popped up some of the layers on foam tape, as you can see. And then on two of the squares, the solid squares, I added Nouveau drops just all around in the scallops. So don't look too close at those. They're not all perfect, <laughs> but they were fun to do. Just go blop, blop, blop all around. And I think that just added a little texture too. But I love the fish. I think they're so sweet. And this one I have not made into a card yet, but I will. This is just a card front and this is just about six by six. So there's that one. Good for summer too, I thought, right? And my last project is another shaker card. This one is summery, and this one says you're very sweet, and I used Buttons Clore products for the shaker mix as well. And I made this like a strawberry lemon lemonade kind of drink. I used these sprinklets. This one's called My Treat, and it comes with little strawberries and little swirly ones and red and white, just like regular sprinkles. I added all those inside, but I wanted to add like a lemony kind one as well. So I took the yellow ones out from spring break sprinklets and I thought they kind of looked like little lemon slices. Not, you know, not exactly, but they give that vibe, I thought. And so I filled that up, filled, you know, filled, filled up the shaker with that. Um, I added some sparklets as well. I used these. This one is called Winter's Evergreen. But um, I just used the like little clear uh, shaker bits in there. Pick those out. I added um, a little, how did I do that? I think that was like a little um, stickles dot on top of that lemon slice, if you can see. And I stamped your berry sweet and I embossed it with some gold embossing powder. I think that came out really nice. And this was a layered doily die. This I did not intend to add, this um, little chipboard sticker, but as I was inking the edges of the card, um, I must have gotten some on my hand and I had a big smear of this like teal color ink on the doily. So as any uh, card maker will tell you, the way to fix that is to cover it up. So I took a piece of chipboard. This is from the Summer Market Collection from Cardabella and I glued it on. Once I put that on, I thought it needed a little bit more, so I took some more of the strawberries and the little um, lemon slice sprinklets and glued them on as well. And it was a happy accident because I think it looks better with those. If you're wondering what this background paper is, it is um, also from Summer Market. This is from Cardabella. That's the back of that. I had shown this in a previous haul. Love that collection. So I just thought this was really fun for summer, you know, add some inking to the sides to just add some dimension. And the inside is just blank for now. But I love the colors. I love the yellow, white, and the pop of teal. So yeah, so those are my projects for May. I hope you enjoyed them. I will link all the products down below in case you're interested. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another crafty video and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.